Hi, everyone. It is Esther and Sara. Hi, this is Sara. And today we get to talk about Influential Summit, which we are both very excited about. Um, while we have Yay. people join us, Sara, if you could introduce yourself to the MommyCon audience, that would be great. Absolutely. Sorry, I was getting us up to make sure we had any um, any comments. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah. I am co-founder of the Celebrity Red Carpet event alongside Allie Landry. Um, I am so grateful and honored to be here today with Exa, one of my favorite, favorite people ever. And we're here to talk about something exciting. Yes. And the feeling is mutual. The feeling is definitely mutual. Hey, everyone that's joining in, feel free to give us some hearts and say hi in the comments. Um, every once in a while, Facebook Live is a little glitchy, so we just want to make sure that we are seeing everybody and interacting. So first off, uh, Sara and I have known each other for, I think, like four years now. It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been and four years. we both uh, produce events, and we both work with a lot of amazing brands. And the reason why mm -hmm. most of you are probably on this page is because you've either been to MommyCon or you know of the events that we produce. And what Sara does, and actually, I'm going to let you speak on it for a bit, is she also does events, and they're pretty special. So hear about it from her. So um, so the, the Celebrity Red Carpet event, um, our focus is for child safety. The event originated seven years ago, um, and it, it, it first addressed child passenger safety. And we've expanded it to other areas of safety, from baby wearing um, to home, activity, on the go, body care. And one of the things that we saw a lot in our events is a lot of the individuals that came from the celebrities, the influencers, to the brands, and even some of our, our wonderful public that came in and enjoyed this event, um, we found that they had a lot to say and they had a lot of influence on a lot of the products that they loved and they grow to love. And the people that come to this event know that they're coming and getting introduced to brands that are safe for the family, kind of similar to what mommy comes with a natural lifestyle so we kind of go hand in hand there yeah very much so so we're all about connecting families with products that we think are awesome they go through all of <laughs> our households before they get to you and both of our events have done that now successfully for five going on five years mommy con are you on six or seven years for the celebrity red carpet event seven this will be our seventh yeah. year or next year we have seventh year yeah that's amazing so amazing and we are joining forces to create an event specifically for brands to come together with influencers, micro influencers, celebrities, and those that are curious about going into um, either being an influencer, social media uh, marketer, etc. And it is called Influential Summit, and it is going to today. <laughs> it is going to <laughs> February 9th and 10th of 2018, which is just around the corner. It I is can't believe it's just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be in Carlsbad, right along the beautiful California coast. For those not familiar with Carlsbad, it's going to be, uh, it's kind of like halfway between Newport Beach and San Diego. So it's That's an right. easy drive from San Diego as well as OC and LA. And we are going to be living it up all weekend with some of our favorite brands and influencers. And um, we're really hoping to see you there. I I just, you know, I'm really excited about this too. And I just want to let everybody know that Carlsbad is where Legoland is. So if you ever want me to go visit Legoland, that might be your opportunity for an extended weekend to have pay them a visit. Um, but no, we're really excited. Cape Ray is just on the coastline. It is stunning. Some of the sessions are you are literally going to be overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Um, and we have such incredible brands that are coming to support, not just with their amazing products, but also with a lot of the speaker sessions that we're doing targeted for influencers and essentially kind of laying out a lot of information about what brands are looking for when they're working with influencers or what they're looking for in their campaigns, even ready to start working with influencers there. They're literally ready to go. Um, and then also the influencers that are attending are going to be coming with some of their media kits, which I think is so great. But everybody's just get, getting ready to work when they attend there. I just I think it's going to be a really fun environment for everybody to be in. Yeah, I'm I'm really stoked <laughs> on it. 
um, some of the brands that are attending are brands that you've probably heard of before. Um, <laughs> share a few of them but we have lots more to announce so one of our all-time favorite supporters of mommy cons since the get-go of course is ergo baby and they will be there all weekend long uh christina is actually going to be speaking at the event on how influencers can work with brands and what brands expect from influencers and then ergo baby will be sharing their product line um what's great about brands like ergo baby as well as all the brands that'll be at influential is that these are brands that actively work with influencers. It's not yeah. a conference you're gonna go to and these brands have no idea how to collaborate. These are brands that come ready with uh, product, they have ideas themselves and they wanna hear your ideas. So it's a really great opportunity for those that are either in the emerging category of influencers where they're you know, getting their feet wet, they're producing content to really make those in-person connections with these brands. And you actually just reminded me of something too is that you know, when you take a look at some of the brands that are attending, bring your ideas to them, like literally bring out the campaign ideas you have on your platforms. And, and really, I, I think that that would be one of the best things to do, especially face to face. I always feel like that is really more impactful. And they're always going to remember that connection, and especially how you made them feel, especially when you kind of understand and you, you say, this is what I want to do. This is how I think that we can work best together. Have your media kit in hand. Here you go. Ready to go. Ready to work. So I think that this is a really good opportunity for everyone to kind of come and, and show off their skills. I think it's, under, it's amazing. So one of the questions that I actually saw in our media group earlier in the week was somebody said, well, what makes it like a different than going to a mommy con or going to like the celebrity red carpet event where these brands are? <laughs> and the big difference is you will be connecting with the actual marketers, the actual social media coordinators at Influential. Yeah. This isn't going to be a brand ambassador that works on behalf of the brand to show you their products. These are the people that are in charge of making decisions on how to, you know, be the, to collaborate. I mean, that's what it's all about. And we really wanted to create something that united influencers within a very specific space. And that is what Sara and yeah. I both specialize in, and that's parenthood. So you're going to find the baby brands as well as toddler brands. And then, Sara, can you touch on one brands? Because they're not in the same space <laughs> that we typically work with in. Absolutely. So one of the things at Red Carpet Event that we have had a lot of success with both at the event and in the gift bags. I mean, I've, we've had success with all of the different areas of safety, but one of the things that we started noticing, especially from a parent point of view, was a lot of the, the food brands that I had started integrating and even some of the wellness brands from collagen to um, all the protein and things like that, especially like I was, a, I was an extended breastfeeder, so I continuously needed protein on the go and collagen to replenish my insights and my gut. And I had a lot of parents really enjoying a lot of the snacks that we have. We do a lot of gluten-free stuff because I, I personally have a gluten allergy. So I really like to focus in on brands that are gluten-free. So we started bringing that to the table at our event and started seeing like parents that really wanted to integrate this lifestyle, not necessarily gluten-free, but they were looking at a lot of the different elements and ingredients of the products that I was bringing to the table. And so I started realizing, and even on my own personal platforms, Beauty Mommy, I started seeing that there's an ongoing trend of families essentially that really want to integrate overall wellness. And so that's kind of something that we're bringing to the table. So for instance, one brands, they're a really good brand, really clean label. They have one gram of sugar in their protein bars, but they're really great because they're pretty much a majority allergy friendly. Um, they adhere to a lot of people that have different types of food allergies, which is one thing I really love about the brand. Um, but then they also, the ingredients are really clean and it's got one gram of sugar. So if you want to give your child like a little sample size of this bar, they're not going to be like bouncing off the walls. Um, they use stevia and monk fruit to sweeten a lot of their bars. So I really, I just really like the clean ingredients. So I thought that would be kind of great because I know parents are always trying to find something on the go, particularly moms that need the energy and the replenishable protein from, from whatever it might be, just day-to-day -day life or breastfeeding, or even if you're pregnant, um, it's just kind of unfortunate all on the uh, wholesome snack. And I think we're targeting a lot of brands that are gonna start bringing these really, really good wholesome ingredients to the table. We have hippies that are bringing some snack bars, kind snacks, um, and a couple of others that I'm excited that we're gonna bring up in the works and announce soon. And, and I mm -hmm. thought we had a comment from Kelly. Hi, 
miss you. Hi, Kelly. Um, it, it definitely is. One of the things that Kelly brought up is it's frustrating <laughs> to a conference, spending the money, not just on the ticket and on travel, but all the expenses that come with it. And then the brands aren't prepared to collaborate. And that yeah. is not the case here. Like we're specifically asking brands when they're approaching us to be part of this conference, if they have existing influencer programs or if they are in the process of building one out, because there's different things that we can then collaborate with them on as an organizer. So you're going, if you're an influencer that's considering coming to this conference and you should come, <laughs> tickets are on sale now at influentialsummit.com. We are only having brands at this event that are prepared to work with influencers or in the final stages of launching their influencer program. So you're right, not going right. to be running into a situation where you're handing somebody their, your media kit and they've never seen one before. That's not going to be the case here. And right. with that being said, we are we want the influencers, all of our attendees, to come prepared with your media kits. And if you're at a yes. point where you're like, I don't have one yet, we will have sessions that are specifically about honing in on the skills to create a better media kit. And we'll send I'm leading it. Well, yes, exactly. I We're going to send out kit emails to all of our attendees with our best tips on creating your media kits in advance, what to prepare for for the event, because we want to make sure that everyone is having a phenomenal experience. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and honestly, I'm actually really excited about that. You know, I've been approached numerous times on how to effectively create a media kit from their pitch to what elements that they put in there. So that's, I'm really excited actually for that session, but even the attendees for influencers that don't know how to create a media kit, one of the things we're going to really ask them to do is bring what they think that they want to communicate to brands, that's essentially what it is, and then come to my workshop and my session and we'll work together and really just up the game of your little media kit. I think it's going to be amazing. And for our um, <laughs> audience right now, if you're in the comments and you're in blogging collective groups on Facebook or in repping groups, please share this video. We would love to get the word out there on the event and just have a really well-rounded audience. Um, Sara, can you talk a little bit about some of the other speakers that we'll have? Yeah. Um, so there's a couple of, well, I mean, I'm pretty much excited about all of them. A lot of the sessions we have, um, we wanted to target both influencers and brands because I feel like as an influencer, because like I said, I have my own personal platform that I'm trying to grow myself even. Um, but I always feel like that as an influencer, essentially what you're doing is creating your own brand. You're creating your own personal relationship, not just with your audience, but also with a lot of the brands that you're working with. So you're ultimately kind of creating this own brand and you're selling your services and your product. And I feel that, you know, if you're a brand like Ergo Baby that's trying to sell their carriers, they're also trying to be relatable just like you are as an influencer. Um, so a lot of the sessions that we have set up and the speakers that we have, we have speaking to both audiences. We have set speakers that are coming, like Gil from Hyper, he has this software that you can basically analyze your own platforms, but then also possibly analyze other influencers in your network to understand their demographics and see who other people are other people who are following them to see, are those the target market for you? Should you be doing something a little bit different? So I'm really excited about Gil's presentation um, for that, but it's also gonna be benefiting a lot of the brands who are also wondering, even the ones that have their influencer programs rolled out that are trying, trying to look and see like, well, how do I know if this influencer is gonna work for me? And what's great about that software is that it literally lays out the demographic of everybody's influencer platform. So I'm actually excited to dive into that, um, that software itself. Um, and then we have Dwayne Richards, who's giving our opening keynote, which you guys all have to be there for. If you haven't seen Dwayne Richards, look him up. It's D-O-Y-I-N. That's how you spell his first name, Richards, Daddy Doing Work. But what's really great about him is he talks about how to leverage a lot of the haters in the community, right? Because as you get to a certain status of your influential platforms, you're going to get haters. And one of the best pieces of advice I actually ever got was, you know that you've made it when you hit your first hater, right? And I think that he talks, he he really has this motivational speech that talks about that and talks about how to really kind of like leverage on it and actually take it as a compliment and really kind of say like, you know what, I am doing good because other people are trying to hate on me, right? Um, and then we have Andrea Corson. She's going to talk about how to set up the video elements of your set. So if you're doing um, Insta stories or Facebook live videos, essentially what your set needs to look like, the lighting you might need, 
possibly like microphones, whether they're lavalier or handheld mics, and just kind of like walking through the elements of that. And oh my gosh, we have so many speakers. Um, and then we also have Samantha Goodstadt and Haley White, and they produce, they're producers, they're both little um, actresses as well, but they work on the mom.me platforms as well. And they have some really fun um, videos that they put out there, but they're going to walk through the elements of your set too, to talk about, okay, this is, this is where you need to stand. This is the lighting that you need. This is kind of how to make these pictures really stand out. And I mean, there's so many more Nefertari Plessy and um, Erica De La Cruz. And uh, we just, yeah, I'm, go look at our website, influentialsummit.com and you'll see our range of speakers. And we have so many more that are coming out. Um, we're literally just waiting on some headshots and bios to put them up, but we're excited. Yeah, it's, it's an exciting <clears throat> time. It's so one of the things that I think is always deceiving is those events that are right at the beginning of the year because you think they're further away, but 2018 is 16 days away and we are going to be at Influential in less than two months. So make your plans, get on out there. This event is going to be a blast. Um, there's going to be interactive sessions too. So even though you're going to walk away with a lot of inspiration and tools to create quality content, you're also going to have opportunities to network. You're going to have opportunities to test out different products and, you know, maybe even do a little morning yoga and uh, get some relaxation mm -hmm. and maybe a little pampering because we really want to make it an experience that you will remember. We have a good uh, question, Exa. Yeah, that's a great question. So Kaylee, uh, this, it's a summit that is for brands. Uh, small businesses are absolutely welcome. The thing that we always say is that you want to make sure that if you're attending the event with a booth as a small brand, that you're prepared to work with influencers. We don't want a brand showing up and not necessarily having a plan on how they'll collaborate. And if you're not at the point of having a booth to collaborate with brands, there's a lot mm -hmm. of amazing information you can take home from this conference by being one of our attendees. And we do have brand tickets as well as influencer tickets. Yeah. yeah. That's a really great question. Yeah. And the event is Influential Summit, and you can find information about it at InfluentialSummit.com. So we hope to see you there. Um, I, I can't really take from your uh, comment whether you are a brand or if you're uh, you know interested in becoming an influencer or are one already, but uh, we would definitely love for you to check out the event and hopefully attend. And I know what you're talking about, Influencer. Um, I actually have a, an account on Influencer, too. They send out all the Vox boxes. Mm -hmm. um, this is not Influencer. It's really cute uh, with the, what they do. And I really like the network that they have created. This is something that's a little bit different. With Influencer, what they do is they send out these boxes for you to review and put on your platforms. And that's pretty much it. So they, they're kind of the the middleman, if you will, between the brands and yourself. And then they have all these requirements like posting a picture or following them on platforms and all that stuff. Um, this is actually, you're going to be working directly with the brands mm -hmm. and you're coming here for information on on how to make your brand even better and more effective when you are working with other brands. So this isn't going to be like the go between or the box. This is going to be the summit where you get together and you make those actual connections with the brands. That's yeah. a really great question, Kaylee. Great. Do we well, have any other questions from anyone? Yeah, if there's other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll circle back um, and chat with yep. everyone. Again, I'm Exa, not Sara. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to Influential Summit in just a couple months. So we will see you there. Yay. Have a great day, everyone. Great. Bye, everyone. Bye.